The marriage may have only been a few months long, but it still had a lasting impact on actor Nicolas Cage. Here's what Cage said about his ex-wife, Lisa Marie Presley, after her sudden death on January 12th. Cage, who filed for divorce from Lisa Marie Presley in 2002, still holds a special place in his heart for the late star. Not long after news broke on January 12th that Presley died at 54 following cardiac arrest, the actor paid tribute via a statement from his manager, writing, This is devastating news. Lisa had the greatest laugh of anyone I ever met. She lit up every room, and I am heartbroken. However, Cage did not stop there, adding more heartbreak to his message. The actor also referenced Presley's late son, Benjamin Keough, who died in 2020. In the second half of his statement, Cage said of Presley's son, I find some solace believing she is reunited with her son Benjamin. Of course, everyone knew how much Presley loved her only son and how she was completely devastated when he died. She wrote on Instagram in May 2022, Navigating through this hideous grief that absolutely destroyed and shattered my heart and my soul into almost nothing has swallowed me whole. Not much else aside from my other three children gets my time and attention anymore. Presley was also mom to Riley Keough, as well as twin girls Vivian Ann and Finley Aaron Love Lockwood. Though things didn't work out between Nicolas Cage and Presley, the former was pretty open about the relationship he had with his ex-wife. In a 2003 interview with the late Barbara Walters for ABC, he revealed he met Presley while still legally married to Patricia Arquette, but felt an instant attraction to her. He told Walters, there's this beautiful girl standing in the middle of the living room wearing this short leather skirt and this fluffy jacket, and she looks up at me with these big, beautiful, soulful eyes that look like they have a sad story to tell. And I just went, oh, I was thunderstruck. And so then we got to talking, we got to know each other, and she's hilarious. Though many may not have put the two together, Cage added that the relationship just made sense to him because they both knew what it was like to come from famous families, as his uncle is Francis Ford Coppola. There was a logic to it, there was a sense to it. The duo ended up tying the knot in August 2002, but it was all over by November 2002. The two spent far longer waiting to be divorced than they were married, with things only being finalized in 2004, according to People. It's probably safe to say that any marriage that only makes it three and a half months probably wasn't exactly the most stable before tying the knot. And that was certainly the case for Cage and Presley. During a 2003 ABC News interview, Presley even confessed that her first engagement ring from Cage ended up in the ocean when they got into an argument on a boat. Though Presley claimed she didn't toss it in the water and Cage didn't throw it either, the ring was never found. Despite the couple hiring divers to look for it, and she ended up getting a bright and shiny new ring from her husband-to-be. As for what went wrong here, Presley explained to Playboy in 2003, one pirate shouldn't marry another. We had already broken up and gotten back together twice. We thought that marriage would make us more secure. She even went into detail about what happened after Cage filed for divorce, claiming the whole thing happened in the heat of the moment after a fight, and he later called her wanting her back. She said, I was like, dude, we can't do the breakup, get back together thing. We're married. Presley admitted she had a lot of animosity towards Cage for a long time afterward. However, the two remained in contact following their split. Presley told Diane Sawyer for ABC News in 2003, I like when someone's shaking it up, when they're different. I don't know why, I'll never know why, but it's just what I get attracted to.